Barrel Roll is the reporter thrown into the secretive world of the 4X supermodel where nothing is as it seems. Beware the techno monk and steer clear of Professor Coe and his two assistants. Give the senior trader a wide berth and don't expect any sense from the risk manager. Hello, I'm Professor Code, and this is the Forex Supermodel Weekly Review for Monday the 28th of the 6th to uh, the 2nd of the 7th, 2021. Uh, right, so let's make a start then. We've written up the weekly uh, figures. Uh, euro dollar minus 68, so over that period, over the week, the euro dollar as an FX pair lost 68 points or pips. Euro yen minus 43, euro pound plus 1, uh, pound dollar minus 59, Pound yen minus 36 and the dollar yen plus 26. Right, so we pump that into the uh, formula uh, and look at the flows. Uh, we've got a positive opposed driver in the dollar at plus 153. Front and back door flows mainly coming out the euro at minus 110, out the pound at to minus 96, and the yen was the positive rock at plus 53. Activity plus or minus 206. Right, so uh, over the week then we had. Uh, we had an opposed positive driver uh, and then the bulk of the uh, opposing negative flows were coming out the euro and the pound and the yen was the positive rock. Right, so we're going to stop start there as we write up the dailies, so don't go away. Right, welcome back. We've written up the dailies. We're going to rattle through these and then do the analysis. So uh, Monday the 28th then, uh, positive unopposed driver in the yen, plus 78. No backdoor flows. The opposing negative flows mainly coming out the pound, minus 50, out the euro, minus 25. Dollar uh, negative rocket minus three activity plus or minus seventy eight. Tuesday the 29th, uh, we had a where is it uh, a positive uh, opposed driver in the yen at plus one twenty front and back door flows uh, mainly coming out the pound at minus one twenty out the euro minus sixty seven uh, and the uh, the rock was the uh, the positive rock. Uh, at uh, plus sixty seven. But notice we've got symmetry here, so you can you can. Uh, talk that through the other way so you can equally say you've got a positive uh, opposed driver in the pound and vice versa so uh, so a neutral situation in terms of drivers there wednesday the 30th of the six uh, negative opposed driver in the yen minus 150 front and back door flows mainly coming out the, uh, going into the dollar at plus 103 into the pound at plus 82 and the euro was the negative rock at minus 35 activity plus or minus 185 thursday the first then uh, we've got a positive opposed driver in the dollar, plus 111. Front and back door flows mainly coming out the pound, minus 97, out the yen, minus 73. And the euro was the positive rock at plus 59. Activity, plus or minus 170. Finally, Friday the second then, we've got a negative opposed driver in the uh, dollar, at minus 125. Front and back door flows mainly going into the yen at plus 97, into the pound at plus 78. And the euro was the negative rock at minus 50. Activity, plus or minus 175. Right, so uh, we'll stop it there and then do the analysis. Right, we're back for the analysis. Uh, just to remind you then, over the week, um, basically we had uh, uh, a negative, uh, sorry, a positive um, opposed driver in the dollar, at plus 153. Front and back door flows, the opposing negative flows, mainly coming out the euro at minus 110, out the pound at minus 96, and the yen was the positive rock at plus 53. So, and that was an activity of plus or minus 206, relatively low activity. So arguably, uh, over the week then, we had, a, we had a, a strong dollar, a weak euro and pound, and a bit of strength in the yen. Right, um, we look at the uh, uh, asset classes now. The US dollar index, it did break uh, the modelled high. Now it's come back and it's 0.18 from the high. So Friday, uh, uh, we'll talk about that in a minute, uh, took it back down. Uh, gold, gold had a little uh, <coughs> improvement off the back of this weakness, weakness in the dollar. It's now 0.47 from the floor, so it's nearly half marks, but it's still weak. O oil, uh, still uh, still very strong. It's 50% uh, above the, uh, the breakout high in model terms. Uh, then we've got uh, Wall Street, 
Wall Street is nearly at the previous high, 0.18 from the high. S&P's uh, punched above the high, it's, it's uh, plus 0.28 from the high, 28% above the modelled high. Uh, the tech is 34% uh, above the modelled high on the break. Uh, and a US 10 years then, so uh, we had a big pump up in price on the US 10 year, uh, so yields have come off. Uh, and like uh, the bond, the bond, uh, the European equivalent, uh, is um, uh, sort of uh, had a price increase as well. But uh, the, the, the big takeaway here is, is that US yields are really weakened relative to uh, European yields, uh, hence we've seen the dollar come off and the euro dollar should uh, gain uh, going forward. Um, right, what have we got? Copper. Copper, we thought we might have, we thought we might have a pump on the copper, and it's, uh, it's copper trading has been very, very choppy. Uh, it's now 0.6 uh, from the high. It's recovered quite a bit, but it's still, uh, still a little bit weak. And US steel is 0.35 from the floor, so US steel isn't really due. It's still uh, weaker, if anything. So, uh, so there you go, that was that. Um, what's uh, going to knock it about next week? Well, initially, look, uh, it's all about the AUD on Monday. Uh, you've got AUD retail sales on Monday the 5th. Uh, and Tuesday, you've got the AUD rates decision. So the AUD is going to be uh, quite in play. Um, uh, let's grab this. Quite in play uh, early uh, next week. Uh, right, so, and if you remember that the AUD has been uh, really, uh, really seen off recently. Uh, so our, our AU trade, AUD trades, we took down to the minimum uh, and uh, they've slightly recovered again now, but uh, they're still soft. Right, uh, and uh, our, our trades are about plus 1,200 at the moment, plus 1,200 points, which is from a peak of 6,500. So, so they've, they've come under extreme pressure. Um, right, so uh, we're short uh, USD dollar against the euro, the pound uh, and the AUD and we're short NZD against euro, pound, CAD and AUD. Right so as we said AUD you've got uh, retail sales and uh, rates decision uh, early Monday. Uh, the, pound's, the pound's been taken off pretty hard off the back of uh, the rising dollar and it's now reversing slightly the, uh, the dollar. <coughs> the euro likewise has been hammered uh, and it, so, it's, so it's got this sort of reversal look to it. Um, the CAD, uh, the CAD despite the high oil prices um, is uh, not doing as well as it possibly should so uh, uh, that's another issue. So we've got oil there. Right so um, the week basically, uh, the activity was pretty low. Uh, basically, the markets uh, just sort of charged down and up and ended up uh, uh, 208, what was it, 208 points, uh, 206, 206 points. Uh, all the, the major complexes uh, moved um, 206 points during the week, which isn't a great deal. Bearing in mind, uh, a very strong week is. Uh, has got a thousand on it, so it's about twenty percent of, uh, of of strong activity. So uh, anyway, um, that's where we are. Uh, what do you expect to happen? Well, the market has digested this uh, non-farm payroll figure, which is which is coming strong, uh, and yet equities are equities are on the up as we expected. Um, uh, the dollar the dollar is going to start uh, going to start um, uh, falling basically. Uh, the bond market is suggesting that uh, that yields are going to start to reduce and the price of bonds are going to start to go up. The bond market was never convinced about this dollar rally uh, anyway. Uh, so there we are. Um, we've got the uh, the data cycle uh, review video, sister video coming out uh, uh, either today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow. Uh, that will fill in some gaps. So try and catch that. If not, see you again for the uh, Monday Daily Briefing. Thank you for watching.